Good morning and welcome to Morning Meditation. I'm glad you could join us this morning. I hope Psalm 17 is an encouragement to you. I uh, hope you are reading not only the Psalms and the Proverbs, but many other portions of Scripture. Uh, that's what will be an encouragement and a help. Let's look at verse 1. Hear the right, O Lord, attend unto my cry, give ear unto my prayer that goeth not forth out of feigned lips. And then let's jump down to verse 6. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O God. Incline thy ear unto me, and hear my speech. Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that savest by thy right hand them which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of thine eye, and hide me under the shadow of thy wings. And then verse 15, As for me, I will behold thy face in righteousness, I shall be satisfied when I awake in thy likeness. And uh, every day, uh, that's a great encouragement. We ought to awake in his likeness. We see the first portion of uh, chapter 17 is a prayer to God. And really, David, again, is praying that God will deliver him from the wicked. And uh, when I look around our nation this morning, I see a lot of wickedness. I see a lot of people that have just never been taught the truth and unfortunately are misguided and believe a lie today, as Romans chapter 1 talks about, and uh, boy, it just my heart breaks for them, and we ought to be praying for them. Pray for revival. I encourage the people of our church, and I want to encourage you, spend 10 minutes a day praying for revival, and you say, Pastor, that doesn't seem like a whole lot. Well, if you look at the prayer statistics, that 10 minutes in prayer, 7 days a week, 70 minutes of prayer for revival, that is going to make a difference. If we had 100 people doing that, that would be 7,000 minutes a week going up to the throne of God, seeking His will for this country, healing our land, Second Chronicles 7.14. But secondly, I see this, David realizes that his protection is from the Lord. Of course, Psalm 91, Psalm 46, many Psalms, uh, David realizes his protection. And you and I need to realize our protection comes from God. God protects us from this virus. He protects us from what's going on. So we see the prayer, we see the protection, but last of all, we see the presence. And that's really the thought I want to focus on this morning. Uh, David said his presence, or God's presence, when I awake, I'll be like his righteousness. And uh, boy, we need to have a lot more little Jesuses running around America, not a lot more little Satans running around America. And what I mean by that is our desire ought to be to walk so close to him. Uh, okay, a good Bible illustration, Moses spent 40 days and 40 nights on the mount with God getting the uh, uh, Ten Commandments. And when he came down, his face shone so brightly that he had to wear, wear a veil because people said, hey, God's rubbed off on you and, and we can't handle it. And boy, if we're walking with the Lord and spending time with Him, we've got the music of Zion in our hearts, uh, people are going to say, hey, that person reminds me of Jesus. Uh, as I was reading this this morning, it kind of humorously reminded me of the old black and white TV series I watched as a kid, The Lone Ranger, and how he would rescue people in bad situations. And someone would say, do you recognize who that was? That's The Lone Ranger. And uh, boy, that's uh, exactly what people ought to do. They ought to look at your life, my life, and say, boy, that's a Christian. They walk with God. God's made a difference in their life. Jesus Christ is their Savior. They don't just talk about religion. It's not just lip service. It's life service. So let's take Psalm 17 and encourage ourselves. Prayer, depending on the Lord, but most of all, making sure that the presence of God, His sweet, gentle, kind, and wonderful presence is walking through us and touching other people's lives. God bless you and have a great day.